Good morning, Internet. I'm Pastor Goodman. This is the Largely Catechized Life. Uh, we are talking about prayer. And God commands you to pray. It's the second commandment. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord thy God, which means we should fear and love God that we do not curse, swear, use satanic arts, lie, or deceive by his name, but call upon it in every trouble. Pray, praise, and give thanks. God actually commands us to pray and um it, it kind of highlights something in the law. One of the reasons that God gives us his law in the first place is because sin makes you stupid. Um, it is illogical because it is destructive. Sin actually undoes God's creation. Sin is uh, really dumb, but it always seems like a great idea at the time. <laughs> Even once we know better, uh, it, it's still really tempting to just lean into sin. Um, and so God gives us his law to light our path, to show us what good actually looks like. And so in faith, we can look at God's law as more than just a chance to, to realize that we're sinners, but even to show us what godliness actually looks like, what things are supposed to look like, and, and how things are supposed to be. One of the things that he commands us to do then is pray. Uh, Luther, in the large catechism, he writes, it is our duty and obligation to pray if we would be Christians, as much as it is our duty and obligation to obey our parents and the government. For by calling upon it and praying, the name of God is honored and profitably employed. See, God actually wants to work through these things. That's why he commands us to do them. Even where sinners are involved, God has promised to work. And so he calls us to obey our parents, even when they're sinners because God actually wants to work through them. He doesn't say obey your parents if they're good parents or obey the parents if they're doing the right thing or obey your parents if they're not wrong at the time. Simply honor your father and mother because, well, the fourth commandment comes with the promise. God is at work even inside of your family, even inside of families broken by sin. God can work there. And so we command you not to simply see your parents by their own works, but to see your parents as the gifts from God that they are. And God works through the gifts that he gives us. If God is willing to do this through our family, so much so also when he commands us to pray, even us sinners to pray, he calls us to do it because he works through prayer. God's name is profitably employed. It does something. And we actually do need to be reminded of this because human nature um, is, well, corrupted. Luther continues in the large catechism, the human heart is by nature so despondent that it always flees from God and imagines that he does not wish or desire our prayer because we're sinners and we've merited nothing but wrath. So um, when my dog does something bad, she goes and she hides in the basement all by herself. Um, when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, they went and hid in some bushes. When Jonah didn't want to be a pastor, when God sent him, he got on a boat and hid in the bottom of it going the opposite direction. Uh, we usually aren't quite so dramatic, but still, we shrink back. Shame, guilt, they do these things to us. Um, and so while we might not hide in some bushes, well, worship and prayer and study of God's word and receiving his sacraments, all of these places where we know God actually is for us, well, yeah, our hearts crushed by sin, we tend to back away from these things. Still, God loves us, and he actually wants to help us, even us sinners. He loves us so much that he would give his son for us, and so he calls us out of our despair and commands us to pray, not on our worthiness, but on our identity given in Christ. We pray this way, our Father who art in heaven. We have a Father who loves us no matter what we've ever done. We're not known by our sins, but by our baptism through which God has named us as his own. He commands us to pray because he actually wants to work through prayer to grant us this comfort, to grant us this hope. Uh, and, and here, when he commands us, it, it works for our good. We call upon God's name in every trouble and he's there to answer us.